All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jan. So we got Caldera coming up in a couple days. Uh, last night, I ended up finishing out my final, like, actual gun, weapon, whatever. Finally ended up getting all of my bloodthirsty. So now, I actually have the diamond sniper rifles. I mean, given the, the way that some of these looks, it, it, it looks more like platinum and studs and, and shit like that. So at this point, besides just stupid launcher challenges, uh, yeah. I am done. Like, actually done. Yesterday's video, obviously, I said that I was done as well. But now I'm, like, actually done, done, done. All I had was the, uh, this challenge right here. Three-line, completionist. The diamond looks good on the three-line, but the three-line, I'm, I'm not a big fan, to be honest. I'm really not. Uh, and we had the 100 bloodthirsties for absolutely no reason. It's more than three times the amount of the other sniper rifles. I had to get 105 kill streaks with it, which ultimately didn't take me that long to actually do, but I had put it off for such a long time just hoping that they would end up you know doing like a weapon fix for all these challenges but uh yeah who knows they obviously haven't and they ended up turning on double xp uh double weapon and battle pass xp this time so it's not overall level i have five days 13 hours and 25 minutes and yeah that's pretty much the average that i ended up seeing from a lot of people around like five to seven days of game time and that's it, it took pretty much about uh a month i absolutely could have finished it faster like gotten that time spent a lot faster like i know people that just are completely legitimate players no weird little strategies or anything like that and uh yeah they finished it well over a week week and a half before this maybe even more my perception of time is all fucked up now all that's left is to sit around and literally just shoot things out of the sky just hope that my team is just getting completely plowed and that's it run around and snipe with engineer on and just shoot anything that i see now here's the thing i mean i could just straight up run into them Vutu is also kind of annoying to shoot things down on to be honest I'm not sure which one is better i haven't really found out which game mode really has more kill streaks in it I feel like the more players, the more streaks there would be, right? That's what I was figuring in my mind because I would always go to ground and my team is winning. This is really unfortunate. We're kind of smashing them. That's not really what I want. Hostile recon? Where? I need to get three of these. Fuck. Please hit. Yes. I wish Intel kind of worked like a personal UAV where it just kind of like, you would be able to shoot it down, but you just can't. Wait, how is this happening? Why are these streaks randomly exploding? Another recon. Yes! Okay, one more, one more. Yeah, every single time this one aerial streak is coming in, I, I don't know if it's like a bomber thing or whatever it is. It's hard to recognize. I don't really know. Look, look, look. There's a bomber, and it just blows up instantly. What's happening? Recons. I, I need these. Another bomb. Nope. I think there's some sort of bug happening or some shit. Are you serious? What? Well, I'm not gonna get it now. I missed twice. And there it goes. It's gone. Dude, you get like no chances, no lock on. This shit is awful. This isn't hard. I don't know why I'm, I'm missing that. I, I don't know. And this stuff is coming in. Every single like kill streak that gets called in besides the UAVs are like automatically exploding. Look, hostile bombers coming. It's just going to explode. See? Okay, well, I got at least three. There it is. Boom. Oh man, we got a bunch more to go. And it's, it's coming and it's going to blow up. I, I don't know what's doing that. I don't know, but I, I'm going to leave this game. I don't know what's up with that. None of the streaks are actually doing anything. They're like all bugs. I don't know. Maybe someone on our team is cheating or, or something. I, I don't know. Speaking of cheating, I'm really curious on day one of Caldera, will we see more or less cheaters? Probably initially, probably not many. Now, I don't think we'll see very many cheaters, to be honest. I really don't. I think cheaters will still be there. And I think people, some people will be willing to pay for it still, but it'll be way less. Desert Siege, 20 v 20. That's 20 players that could be calling a UAV in. Oh, even the bullets are diamond. I didn't even notice that. Why am I joining the winning teams all of a sudden? I knew this would happen. Okay, well, clearly we're winning, so I'm just gonna leave. Um, we could try hardcore ship house. I mean, there should be streak. The issue with ship house is that if my team is getting absolutely ass blasted. More dogs. Okay, I just spawned with him. And the dogs. Ooh, okay. Please hit. Nice, nice forgiving hitbox. I like it. I know one thing, the lobbies after you're done grinding specifically just for launchers and launchers only, just going for streaks and just dying over and over and over again, you get some incredible lobbies. This is what we need just to get our asses whooped the entire time. It's fine. Go ahead, get your game plays, dude. I mean, shit. Hey, can you guys like stop killing us and just call in more UAV? All right, well, they capped the C flag. So, I mean, that's really helpful. 
All right, well, I didn't have time to shoot that UAV down because I knew this would happen. I don't know why he's trying to pick up my launcher. Like, you're not doing anything to me. I literally have one kill. Shoot what UAV's down, huh? We don't have anything going for ourselves. We just got C. That's not even a thing going for ourselves. Now they just know where to kill us. But I'm still getting UAVs. Hey man, keep it going. These are the games I'm talking about. I need these. More recon planes, counter UAV. Yep. Counter UAV. Please hit. Nice. It's good progress, man. And then another counter UAV. Keep it going. Mm-hmm. Turn sideways. And I did. All right. Still got it, though. <laughs> it's a shame that they kept triple capping. We could have made it last longer. Could have dropped way more kills at 124. Look at that Drive. shit. I got 12 streaks destroyed. Made so much progress. Drive. I love this shit. Drive. You can find the victories in a lot of your defeats. You gotta do it. So I made three progress. Was I really at only seven? I swear in the one Gavutu game... Are you telling me I only got one progress? Does it matter if I only got three and then leave? Is it not counting? Like, if I shoot down six, that should be two progress, right? Why do I feel like it literally only gave me one progress for all of that? Dude, I went like three and 58. Why do I not have progress? These challenges are so scuffed. It completely ruined just everything, man. It really is just so scuffed. It's been a month. I don't know what to say. This is fucking ridiculous. No, luckily an update's coming out soon, but how have they not called any streaks in, man? A hostile strafe run, but not a UAV. Are you serious? Everything but UAVs. So UFC this weekend, it's tomorrow. Main card is Rob Font versus Jose Aldo. Aldo is actually a plus 120 underdog. Huh. People think Rob Font is gonna beat him? I mean, Rob Font seems super legit, don't get me wrong, but maybe if the UAV didn't take uh, like half of its lifespan to actually make itself even shootable. I mean, okay, you're all right, what the fuck? Why are we still spawning here then? You have like four or five of them press into the spawn. Like, what kind of shit is it? Got him. That one. And should be getting this one. Nice. That's at least three, so I'm backing out. 11 of 12, okay. I could do it that way where I just shoot three, leave. It's not gonna count the rest of them afterwards. I, I don't know, that's weird. I, I mean, maybe I'm just tripping. A uh, Brad Riddell versus Rafael Fazeev. I think Fazeev is gonna... I'm a fan of Fazeev. I like the fights that this guy has. He's just straight. I like his beard a lot. I like his beard. This guy just looks cool to me. Crazy striking prowess from this guy. So uh, we'll, we'll see how he handles somebody like Brad. Jimmy Crude, Jamal Hill. Clay Guida's still fighting? What the fuck, Clay? Brendan Allen against Chris Curtis. Someone's gonna get knocked out. Mickey Gall is back. Anything on the prelims? William Knight versus Alonzo Menafield. Someone's gonna... There's just some fights where you just... You see the matchup and it's just like... Yeah, somebody's... Yeah, this is gonna hurt. And then you see Derek Lewis versus Nganu and, you know, everything goes out the window. Where are the spy- Okay, spy plane. That didn't hit? Alright, I'll just go fuck myself. <sighs> just keep killing me, man. Please get UAVs. I've seen dogs called in more than UAVs at this point. It is just ridiculous, man. Where are the UAV? Yeah, this is gonna be my life the whole time. Uh, I'm pretty much, I think Aldo can beat Rob Font. I don't know if this is too big of a step up for Rob. Like matchup wise, this is kind of, Aldo is no joke, so I, I don't know. So I'm gonna go with Aldo. I'm gonna go with Fazee. Honestly though, they're good matchups, so just a little bias in there, that's all.